So, how's it going everyone? So, uh, this morning we have a little bit different of a project. It's going to take a little ingenuity, uh, only because of the custom parts we have on the Jeep. But uh, let me show you what I picked up last night. I think you'll enjoy this. So, this is a used Garvin Industries Wilderness Rack. And I'm honestly pretty excited about it. Now, obviously the reason I got the rack is because we need more space. But really this came to light uh, on our recent trip uh, that some of you may have watched. And if you haven't, I'll link it up below. Or I'll link it up uh, in the cards. And uh, that is that I just need more space on the hobby road. Um, and not necessarily more space for more gear. The amount of gear we took was about perfect, honestly. Uh, but I need more space to organize so that we don't have to dig through things to um, unload the Jeep every day. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to get this rack on. All right, everyone, so it's actually tomorrow. Uh, we did go yesterday and get some hardware that we needed, and then uh, I started painting the rack. Uh, just, I wanted to do, it started out as just some touch-up real quick, and then I decided, eh, we'll just paint the whole thing. That way it's got a fresh painted coat. So uh, today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna flip the rack, finish giving it the coat it needs on the other side, and then we're actually gonna get it installed on the Jeep. Um, and we have to do some modifications. So one of the important parts of this is uh, that tire carrier, if you guys remember, that, um, I install, I'll, I'll link to it up here in a card, uh, that Moride or Exo gate, uh, same thing, uh, tire gate that I installed, well, I'm having a hard time figuring out or finding a rack that will just install with it, which is why I bought a used one so I can modify it. So that's one of the things today, we're going to see if we can modify this to work with uh, that tire gate. Now I did call uh, Garvin Industries, wonderful customer service, they're really amazing. They did give me a few suggestions, but I think I came up with a better one and uh, maybe I can uh, shoot them an email with a photo of what we're gonna build. That way uh, they can have it as a recommendation to their customers, whoever purchased this tire gate for, um, for whoever, whoever happens to have that uh, particular situation that I have going on. Anyway, let's uh, get this uh, rack flipped and uh, already have all the other parts flipped. We just need to give them a, a little coat and uh, they can dry while we're getting the Jeep mocked up. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now that we got a fresh coat of paint on everything, uh, the rear bra brackets, like I said, did some painting yesterday, so for the bottom rear bra brackets down here, um, those are already painted, so we're gonna get those on so we can line up the rear upright support things um, and get those going. But to get those on, we've gotta loosen the body bolts. All right, I think that's definitely enough. Let's see. Yeah. We're going to push that back up in there while we're here. All right. Now, before we go any further, we're going to get that. We're going to get this bolt up in here. There we go. Perfect. Just like that. And then what we'll do is there's a little hole right here with a backing plate. We'll drill a hole, put the backing plate in. But uh, let's get the other side done first. Okay, 
So now we have to figure out how to do this upper piece. Um, I think I have a way we're gonna figure out how to do that. We have the other side mounted already. We have all the bracketry down there done. This really isn't um, a how-to video only because there's already videos on how to do this. It's quite straightforward. You measure, drill some holes, bolt some things. But with this tire gate, the issue becomes is how do I mount this piece? Technically, this should be right about here. What I can do with this piece is flip it sideways and cut about a quarter inch off this part of the bracket, about right here. Just cut a quarter inch off so it fits in there. Run it vertically, put a backing plate, and then just weld in a piece right here, drill a hole through it, and call it a day. So I think that's what we're going to do. So it's starting to get dark here, but before it gets too dark to see this, the other thing we're missing, well, actually not the other thing, but the thing we're missing is a bracket that's a U-shape. Here, I'll show you. So we're missing one of these, and what this does here is this clamps over the top, over these two bars, onto the top of the Jeep up there. We're starting a fire in the front yard. I'm just going to get a real hot fire going. We're going to stick the end of it in there, get it nice and red hot. I'm going to put it in the vise, bend it, stick it back in there, get it hot, put it further in the vise, bend it, and away we should go. So while we're working on the bracket for this piece, we're going to get that fire nice and hot and get that piece hot too, and we'll see what happens. So uh, let's get to it. Think just a little more. Hit on the other side. Hit on the other side. All right, everyone, so we're back here in the morning. Last night I got a little late to film and then I got tired, but we're basically done with modifying the bracket, so I figured it out. Here's our bracket. So uh, basically we took it sideways, we cut a chunk off here like I said, uh, welded a plate here, and now we're gonna punch a hole here, uh, just so you, uh, you have a reference. I'm gonna go ahead and drill this hole and then we'll mark, mock it up, and make sure uh, everything is where we need it. I'm gonna punch the holes through the tub. So, let's get the hole drilled. Uh, definitely bigger. Perfect, that's what we want. Now what we can do is we can get this right where we want it, which is right there. We'll uh, punch it and then we'll drill it. All right, one last final check. It's pretty much where I want it. All right, so I can't get this in there, so what we'll have to do is we'll drill this one, we'll bolt it down real tight, and then we'll undo this bolt and get in there. Look at that. That is super cool. 
I like it. Okay, now I need to get that wired up and I need to get these on those corners, which I think will be nice. Get them down here, get them from down there up there since they're spotlights. All right, so there we have it. Roof rack's done. Look at it, it's awesome. Let me show you. All right, look at this thing, here we go. So, I used to have ridges right here. Move the ridges up to there. If you guys remember, I at one point had the Vision X slide bar here, because so I bought it used at a yard sale, but it didn't really work sitting up there. So now, it's up there. Um, no idea if it's gonna shine on the hood, but uh, we'll find that out this evening. The rack, though, came out wonderful. I used that implement paint on it. It's great. There's the uh, custom mount. You guys have seen it before already. Let me see if I can get you. There we go. Look at that. Should be plenty of strong. I did fix the backing plate. Backing plate's in there, good to go. Like I said, if I ever wanted to, I could do a little uh, welding here on this plate, but I think it's gonna be totally fine as it is. Yeah, look at it. It's great though. It's super strong. It's it's way strong, way stronger and thicker than the uh, photos allude to. Uh, I looked at a bunch of photos and how it looks, and I think I don't know. I think this thing. Uh, I think this looks awesome. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you had a wonderful time. I think the thing looks sick. Let me know in the comments if you think so. I think it's going to be a wonderful addition to our, uh, to our expeditions and just really make it that much easier. If you have any questions, hit the comments down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. As always, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate you guys watching. You guys have a wonderful day. We'll see you later.